everyone and welcome to today's not really general hospital recap as always don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss any of our videos or recaps I am catching us up all the way to today which is Friday so let's get right to it so this is a recap for the 28th but you already know that by the title so I don't know why I say anything let's get right to it at Sunny's Lucy is there she needs to speak with both Carly and Sunny and it's about Morgan she has the pill bottle and I'm like oh my goodness this is actually happening and then Ava comes in and Lucy is already there she wants to talk about Avery and and then Ava tries to derail Lucy and she offers money for the nurse's ball and I'm like come on Lucy like don't let her pull her away but you know Lucy and Ava go outside and I'm like lovely uh Carly's like what just happened here and honestly same I know my bangs are horrendous I, I know it's just I went out in the rain and this happened uh so if she's not gonna okay so Sunny says that if Carly's not gonna give them a chance then they're done for good uh she doesn't like that he's giving her an ultimatum after everything he did and if he wants to end their marriage then fine just do it uh she won't be shut out again and you know she feels like he demands that she's honest 100 percent of the time but then he doesn't have to be and he thinks she's too focused on the things he can't do when he's already opened him up, himself up to her more than he's ever uh opened himself up to anyone so that's kind of where they're at right now at general hospital anna asks obrecht about uh, what she asked her to do with Faison and Obrecht has a file for her about Valentine. Anna takes the file. Obrecht had already read it and she knows what Anna did and like Anna doesn't even know what she did and like she's like oh like Obrecht is like judging her right. So Anna reads it and is like oh no and I'm like oh no. Uh, Anna tells Andre about the file. Valentine had access to high classified information and it wound up in the wrong hands and agents were killed and an operation was compromised but according to the file she turned the information over to the DVX and not Valentine. Uh, Valentine was questioned and he said Anna asked him for the information but they didn't believe him and then he soon disappeared and Andre says well that can't be true and she tells Andre she would sell out the WSB. Um, sh her record has been edited throughout the years. Uh, she was immature at the time. She was arrogant and the DVX offered her money and if their side, the WSB, was paying for information, then why shouldn't like she do the same thing? Uh, she was a double agent and had to go underground and not raise her child um, for all those years. Uh, she was cynical, naive, and talked herself into being a double agent. And he asked if there's any chance Valentine was lying, and she says, well, maybe they've both been lied to. Uh, at the Metro Court, Ned and Tracy are sitting down. Uh, she doesn't mind what Michael is doing, even though Ned thinks she should mind. And she goes to leave, and Ned asks where she's going. She's going to see Larry Ashton. Uh, he pulled her in talking about Edward, and Ned is super skeptical. skeptical uh, more than skeptical. Skeptical! Oh my goodness, actually. And Tracy wants to find out, though. She, she wants to know what this is about. Uh, Olivia has a proposal for Ned. Uh, would he adopt Leo? And he says he can't do that. Uh, they've been on and off for three years. She doesn't want to marry him. She says she wants to spend her life with him. But look at all the married couples who've ended, no matter how strong they are. And they're happy, and she doesn't want that to change. Also at the Metro Court, Ava and Lucy sit down. Ava is offering money. Lucy's like, yeah, that's cute, you know. Uh, add another zero. Uh, Lucy, I don't know why I expect more from Lucy. Um, but I feel like it has something to do with Sabrina, and I think that's, like, what I'm tying this all to, to be quite honest with you, because I don't know if you're expecting more from Lucy. I just kind of did. Uh, so Ava agrees to her amount. It'll take a couple days, and Lucy doesn't have that long. She needs it by tonight, so what are you going to do? Uh, Laura and Lulu also sit down at the Metro Court. Uh, Laura thinks Nell has feelings for Michael, and she thinks she'll be useful so they can use her against Valentine. In Larry Ashton's room, Tracy arrives. She's like, you know what, maybe this is stupid, but um, he hears her and pulls her in, and apparently she's paying for the room because he swiped the company credit card, and she needs to hear him out, apparently. So something about a $20 million painting uh, that an auction house in Turkey was trying to sell, uh, that the rightful owner was J.L. Holt, uh, who is her father um, under like that was one of his aliases back in the day and he Larry Ashton told the auction house he knew the owner so even though the auction house and everyone had tried to track down the owner they couldn't find him obviously uh, so he will return the painting to her for a quid pro quo. Uh, he wants to split it 50-50, and she says that's ridiculous. She, her family already owns it. And he hasn't given her any details, so she can't track it without him, the catch. And she says no. She's, she's not playing this game with him. But 
Also, I got confused where this twenty million was exactly coming from because if she, if their family already owns it, like no one's paying them twenty, like unless it's about like selling. I don't know. I don't know where this half and half is coming. Anyway, um, back at the Metro Court, Tracy comes in and sees Ava and Lucy together. Um, I forgot Lucy still thinks this is about an affair. She doesn't realize that it was the switching of the drugs because if she did, she probably would have already told them. Uh, so that kind of put things in perspective a little bit for me. Tracy tells Ava she needs help with a painting. Uh, Lulu at, uh, says Dante said Michael is furious with Nell, but Laura thinks Nell would maybe endear herself to Lulu and Dante to get back into Michael's good graces, and maybe she could get between Valentine and Nina. At Alexis's, someone's at the door. It's not Julian, not anyone, actually. Uh, she pours herself another drink, and she's like, Julian, if you're alive, come stop me, and then there's another knock on the door. Uh, she hides her bottle and, uh, the, you know, the cup. Uh, it's Valentine. Uh, he heard her husband died and offers condolences and he wants to be a family and reconnect. Uh, so she says this is all part of his custody strategy. You know, he wants to show he's a part of the community and he has like a family and like goodbye. And she says if he wants a family, connect Charlotte with her sibling Rocco. And that's not what he wants to hear. He opens the liquor and throws the cork at her and leaves. And I'm like, that's mature. Uh, there's someone else at the door. It's Julian. And I'm like, I can't trust this. Uh, he's here to stop her drinking. And he's 100% a vision because he keeps hopping around. And she talks to him about the letter. And after some more talking, he says he's not real. Um, he's not the one telling her to put the drink down. She's telling herself because he's just a figment of her imagination. At Windermere, Anna rushes in. She knows everything. And she thinks her and Valentine have both been played. Oh, Valentine's back at this point. And now, end scene. Alexis comes up. Uh, to outside. She goes outside. That's the right wording. Uh, she's been standing there since... Oh, no. See, this is why a po a hyphens are important. Alexis comes to outside. Like, she was, like... She never went back in the house and had these, like, conversations with Julian. She's been standing in her door the whole time. And she pours the alcohol out, and I'm proud of her. I'm gonna, I'm gonna be honest. I'm proud of her. Ned is going to propose to Olivia again, and he'll accept her response as her final answer. Tracy tells Ava about the painting in Turkey, and Ava will charge her, which, I mean, yeah, <laughs> I'm not judging. Uh, Carly's walking out the door, and, um, why, and coming back. Oh, so Carly's like, if I walk out that door, I'm not coming back, and he's like, fine. So she walks out the door, she's not, you know, she doesn't come back, and Sunny throws a glass against the wall. Laura's not sure how to strategically use Nell, but Lulu should become friends with her, make an ally, make a friend, because she does not have a friend in Port Charles. Anna thinks there's more to the story. She says a third party evoked her name to get the information, and Valentine says, no, you asked me yourself after we slept together. Excuse me? Excuse, excuse me? <laughs> um come again <laughs> what what so plot twist like I can't I can't handle these plot twists but I'm happy because I like don't see them coming from my way I saw someone on uh, Facebook uh, someone uh, some soap website said something about like Alex Duvane and his twin and I'm like of course there's an evil twin involved what why would I expect anything different but I know nothing about that plot line so uh I'm interested to see where this goes and I will see you in literally five seconds for the next recap and I hope you have a great five seconds bye